What is something legal in your country that may seem insane in another? Story one. Shops are open on Sundays. Government has a monopoly on selling wine and stronger alcoholic drinks. Also a monopoly on railways. The age of consent is 16. 15 year old people are legally responsible. You are free to camp on someone else's land without permission. Also, you're allowed to fish, swim, row a boat, and pick flowers and mushrooms. The list goes on, but you get the hang of it. Can't limit photography where anyone can just walk in and out. Malls, train stations, shops. You have to pay some copyright fee for blank DVDs and new MP3 players. Taxi drivers have to buy licenses for the songs they play in their cars. Every product here has to have instructions, also in Swedish, which is our second official language with 300,000 native speakers. Also, most street names are in Swedish too. Grades one through nine have to be free for students. Edit, forgot two quite big ones. Edit two, I'm in Finland. I'd say that all Finnish education is free. You have to pay for the books and the state won't provide transportation to school after finishing ninth grade, but it's not too bad. Yeah, the education, lectures are totally free and only the books for gymnasium are expensive. I was thinking of posting something witty about being naked, sweaty, and uncomfortably close around small children, you know, public saunas and all. Story two. You have to take a test to prove you know how to drive and use a car. You don't have to take a test to use or own a gun. Oh wow, didn't know that many people would miss the point of the OP's question. It was asked what law would seem insane in another country. All those defending guns that are from the states, having a gun seems normal. But that's not the view everywhere in the world. Some complained about the reference to cars versus guns. I could have just as easily pointed out that at a gun fair, people can buy and sell guns with little to no oversight. But if a child sets up a lemonade stand outside of the same gun fair, it can be shut down by the police. So yeah, here's a better example of what most people outside of the US would think is insane. Using a car or a gun with malicious intent will not be prevented by a test and will both be deadly. Following a few basic rules prevents accidental injury from firearms. And I would argue they're safer than cars when used without the intention to cause harm. I'll take a wild guess here and say cars kill more people than guns. And yet more people are accidentally killed by cars than by guns. Story three, drinking beer in public. Children, at least not under 13 or 14 I think, are allowed in bars with parents. And they even can drink beer at that age, 14 plus or 16 plus, without consent from parents or adults. No speed limit on highways, not all of them of course. Paying over a thousand euro, up to two thousand in some cases, for a driver's license. Especially for the Americans, this would be insane I guess. Closed shops at night and on Sundays except at many train stations, airports, etc. Legal brothels. Deutschland? Definitely Germany. I paid 1,300 euros for my driver's license, and I went 210 kilometers an hour with a rented Audi A3 on the Autobahn. I'm 22. But the closed shops thing is annoying. I went to England and bought something at 9 p.m. It was amazing. I paid about 800 or 1,000 US dollars for my license in Latvia. I wonder what it is about the states that has led to it being pretty standard for shops to be open until late in the evening, often like 9 p.m. or later. And it's not unheard of for places to be open 24-7. Is this just because the U.S. is capitalist and that breeds commercialization? I know that there's also shift workers that have odd hours of the day when they can actually do their shopping, but how does that work in other countries that have more limited store hours? Maybe the citizens over there aren't bound to work all hours of the day and can actually fit in errands here and there while there's still sunlight. As a wise fry cook once said, have you finished with those errands? Story four. This doesn't answer the question in the strictest sense, but uh, in Australia, all citizens are required by law to vote in elections. Lots of my American friends think this is nuts, and I definitely think it's changed the landscape of Australian politics. Not necessarily for the better. Also, as an Australian, the thing that's legal in America but seems insane to me is that it's legal to pay someone $3 an hour to work in a restaurant. Sorry, OP, I gave you two answers that don't 100% address the question. Hopefully, between them, they do address the question.
If you don't show up to vote, you can be fined and lose your driving license as well until it's paid. Vote is also forced in Belgium. It's legal to pay someone $3 an hour to work in a restaurant. It depends on how that state defines minimum wage, inclusive or exclusive of tips. In my region, minimum wage does not include tips, so $3 an hour wouldn't be legal. Story 5. Only getting two weeks of vacation time off a year, assuming you have a good job. Most Europeans you tell this to can't fathom the idea. My old boss was annoyed that he didn't get enough done at work. They actually made him take vacations, even when he didn't necessarily want them. There was just so much to do, and he felt personally responsible, but his bosses forced him to take vacations and sick leave and stuff. I've heard cases where low-level employees were forced to take time off as a check that there were things they didn't get done while they were out, to prove they were useful. As a manager, it's important that you develop your team to get things done. Your boss taking time off could be a similar check. It's usually because having masses of annual leave accrued is a liability for the company. They need to pay your annual leave out when you leave the company, and if you have 20 weeks accrued, that's a big chunk of change. Easier to force employees to use up their leave each year. Story 6. Not my country, but Spain. Age of consent is 13. And as long as you don't use deceit in any way, you cannot be charged, even if the parents complain. Are you sure about that? I mean, in my country it's 14, but when someone is over 21 and the other one is under 16, the parents of the minor could easily report you, if there was no parental consent, and you would be charged for that. I guess it's different in Spain. If there was no parental consent. Oh boy, would that be an awkward conversation. So, can I bang your 14-year-old daughter? According to Wikipedia, the parent's complaint can only lead to a charge if they think you obtained consent by deceit in some measure. Story 7. Off licenses and shops can't sell alcohol after 10 p.m. Ireland. Pubs and nightclubs all have mandatory legal closing times, too. The result of which is that every single drunk gets thrown out onto the street at once, and they're all ticked off at getting thrown out. Great idea. Edit, I suppose this is actually something that's illegal, that's insane. Sorry for answering the question backwards. Edit, two. Apparently this is a lot more common than I thought. Same in Finland, except shops won't sell alcohol after 9pm. I'm a grown woman. If I want a bottle of vodka at 10.15pm, I should be allowed to buy it. Stupid, stupid rule. Story 8. Denmark. Bestiality, same-gender marriage, consensual relationships with 15-year-olds, buying alcohol and cigarettes as a 15-year-old, no driver's license until 18. Half true, the alcohol thing is a maze, but you need to be 16 for some things and 18 for others. Also, cigarettes are only for 18-year-olds now. You have to be 18 to buy hard liquor, which means anything over 13.5%. Isn't a driver's license at 18 something that's pretty common around the world? The only country I know for a fact that does it earlier is the USA. Story 9. In Spain, the law says that if you buy a house with a bank credit and suddenly you can't continue paying for it anymore, you lose your job, they raise the fees, etc., you must give your house back to the bank and still keep paying the total amount of the credit given. Yep, as a Canadian, I cannot comprehend the lack of logic behind this at all. True, we are trying to change this law, but of course, the power of money is too big to defeat. Still, it makes no sense, and the European Union keeps stopping it from being passed. That's why everyone is upset with the Union and want to abandon the boat. Story 10. China has no drinking age, period. If someone will sell it to you, you can buy it. Law, in general, is somewhat difficult to conceptualize in China, but there is definitively no legal drinking age limitation of any kind. As somebody who went to high school in China, I can confirm this. If you had money, you could buy liquor. Nothing like going to the corner store and buying a tall boy Tsingtao with some 10 mg Zhongnan Heis and a lighter, all for around $1. Good times. Story 11. Prostitution at the age of 16, Switzerland. Is the law that it's legal to procure a prostitute at 16, or it's legal to be a prostitute at 16, or both? As age of consent is 16, both are allowed. 
However, many prostitutes only accept ages 18 and up as customers, according to a friend of mine who tried once at age 17. The customers of underage prostitutes can be charged. The whole thing makes no sense at all. Story 12. In Lebanon, it's normal to invite guests into your home. They could stay for up to three days if they wanted. It's been an Arab custom for hundreds of years. When my mom moved here, she was kind of put off by the fact that none of her neighbors seemed to care about her and my dad at all. She realized that it wasn't normal in America to just drop by someone's place and expect good company right off the bat. Story 13. Weed, hashish, psilocybin, and prostitution. Guess where? Netherlands. Only prostitution. The rest are illegal, but tolerated in the Netherlands. Is it just Amsterdam where they're fully legal? Story 14. Kinder surprises. Sorry, America. Edit. Uh, apparently, they're legal in the States now. Yay. They've actually become legal, kind of. They will start making a new version of them in the U.S. Edit. I meant there's a different company making the eggs. It will have toys, though. They are not legal. A knockoff company, Choco Treasures, is making a compliant version, but it is not Kinder. Don't be fooled. Story 15. Right hand turns at a red stoplight. Didn't know it was illegal in Europe until a 100 euro traffic ticket told me so. In Germany, this is allowed if there is a small little green arrow. I've always wondered what that red X with blue background means. Could you please tell me what it means? No stopping, and with a single line across, it means no parking. Story 16. Um, sleeping with a horse. America. There's just places where it hasn't been made illegal yet because it hasn't been a problem, hasn't made headlines, and isn't a button issue for any large group. When did that become legal in America? Apparently it's legal in more states than same-gender marriage. Story 17. Age of consent is 14, with certain caveats. Partner's age, emotional maturity, blah blah blah. And with 16, it's all systems go. There was a scandal recently when a 40-year-old politician had a love affair with a 16-year-old. Completely legal. That's Germany for you. So if you ever wanted to sleep with a high schooler after she bought herself a beer in a bar, come on over. Story 18. It's legal for women to go topless in Canada. That's pretty illegal in a lot of other countries. I don't think that happens in Saudi Arabia. This is legal in Maine, northeast most United States as well. So basically everywhere that it's too cold to do so anyway. <laughs> Not Michigan. Story 20. drive through liquor stores. I didn't think it was real. And then I went to Kansas. I saw a drive through gun store attached to a drive through liquor store in Texas. It was amazing. Freedom! I saluted the flag as an eagle soared overhead, and I'm not even American. Story 21. Marrying someone of the same gender. I hear this will likely lead to marrying turtles or dogs. Turtles marrying dogs sounds god dang adorable. It'll be turtle witching. Story 22. I know in New Hampshire, USA, and a few other states, we can carry around firearms in the open at any age. Illegal to drive and conceal, but I'm free to walk around in public with a shotgun over my shoulder. Story 23. It's legal to break out of prison. A woman in my country, Slovenia, just did this and turned herself in a week later. There will be zero days added to her sentence. I was surprised too. Story 24. Prostitution. New Zealand. You have to pay the sheep? Is New Zealand Australia's whales? I think Tasmania is probably Australia's Wales. Story 25. Not allowed to have an English sign in Quebec, and when it is on a sign, it must be 50% smaller than the French font. Story 26. We made vodka in our chemistry class, then drank it with our teacher. That's amazing. Russia? Denmark. Story 27. Sleeping with 14-year-olds. Germany is the Alabama of Europe. Alabama's age of consent is 16. Story 28. Driving in India is legal. Apparently, no foreigner wants to take it up. In India, they feel all Indian drivers are psycho and should be locked up. Story 29. When you're in the German army, you can refuse to act on orders against your conscience without being punished. Story 30. In New Zealand, we can legally distill our own spirits. To my knowledge, you can in America, depending on the state, and as long as you don't sell it. Story 31. 
sticking postage stamps upside down without being charged with treason. Story 32. Cows always have the right of way. No exceptions. No points for guessing which country I'm in. Story 33. Scoffing and torturing bulls to death, just for people's entertainment. Spain. Story 34. Free speech? Technically, anyways. Story 35. Wailing. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.